Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. I've probably done several videos on this, but somebody asked how to rotate a line around the circle. And if you work in the center of the page, your line is gonna start in the center of the page and hold down your control button and get to there. Now what you need to do is double click on it, move your rotation to the center. Now, if you've got an even number that you want, you just type in, uh, well, let's go control, control D, and then let's rotate it 24 lines so it'd be 15 degrees. Control D, control D. Those will all be equal. But if you don't have, if you don't have a number that's uh, easily divisible, so let's just do, let's do 23 lines. So instead of figuring it out with the calculator, just type in 360 divided by 23, and it moved it 15.625 degrees. So if we control D and duplicate it, 360 divided by 23, control D, control D. Now you can do it that way, and that's still, still the way I do it a lot of times. I have to delete these circles. And a lot of times you can move this stuff out of the way. I'm just trying to get those lines and it's kind of hard. Now you can nudge this right back or hit P and it put it right back. Now we've got this, we've got a rotation in the center. We're gonna open up Docker Windows, Docker's uh, transform or transformation depending on which one you have. I've already, I've already done this, <clears throat> but we need 360 divided by 23 and we want 22 of them. Now, I remember I said 23 lines, but we don't need that other line because we've already got a copy. So if we take this circle away and we look at our line, we have 23 objects, so we have 23 lines. So if you put 23 what you need, it's gonna put an extra line there, which really gonna hurt unless you're cutting that out, and then it's gonna cut that line out too. And the reason for that is, it says it right there, how many copies do you want? You've already got one, I need 22 copies. I hope that answered his question. Thank you for watching.